Today we're going to talk about the best gaming laptops going into 2025. And of course, in Toasty Bros fashion, we're going to round them all up and give you our top five favorites at a wide range of different prices and performance levels to help you guys find the perfect gaming laptop for you. But before we dive into today's video, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. When it comes to travel productivity and ergonomics, there's one company that shines above the rest, and that's ProtoArc. In regards to travel productivity, they have amazing products like the XKM01 keyboard or case-up combo. The ProtoArc XKM01 case-up combo comes with a premium travel case, their signature tri fold wireless XM01 keyboard, ultra thin mouse, adjustable laptop stand, and charging cable. With this combo, you get all the essentials for working comfortably in any location, from coffee shops to shared workspaces, while its lightweight design ensures maximum portability. And if we're talking ergonomics, the ProtoArc EC100 chair goes above and beyond your typical office chair. The EC100 has all the features you could want to support those long sessions at your setup. It comes with adaptive lumbar support, height adjustable armrest that can rotate up to 180 degrees, and a height adjustable headrest. Pair this with the patented spring pressure seat cushion, you are able to experience peak ergonomics and comfort. If you're interested in learning more about ProDark and all their amazing Black Friday offerings, check out the links in the description down below. Big thanks to ProDark for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. First up is the MSI Thin 15.6 inch with the i5 12450H and the RTX 3050. This is a laptop that is usually around the $600 price point, but sometimes they'll drop to 500. So always keep an eye out for those sales. But we love the laptop because it's obviously thin as the title implies. You got a 144 hertz screen. The only downside is it only comes with one stick of eight gigs DDR4, so we do recommend just adding another 8 gigs so you have dual channel, but other than that, it's a super solid laptop for the price. MSI has always made a pretty sturdy laptop, and the performance out of the box is pretty good. I mean, since it's just a 1080p display, that 3050 and i5 can push almost any game out there. I mean, even the new Call of Duty, for example, will play pretty well, especially after that RAM upgrade, at something like a balanced preset. Next up, we have another MSI laptop. This is the MSI Katana, which comes with an RTX 4050 and i7-13620H. This one is also available on walmart.com for $799, and it's a good alternative compared to the other laptop we're gonna talk about here in a second if it's out of stock, but this thing with the RTX 4050 is a good upgrade over the 3050. That i7 gives you some more cores and threads to work with, and it comes with 16 gigs of RAM out of the gate. You don't need to upgrade the RAM, and also it's DDR5 memory, so you're getting the latest and greatest, you're getting dual channel memory, and out of the box, it's just going to work. The 4050 is great, especially when paired with dual channel memory and a good CPU at 1080p high refresh rate to match this high refresh rate display that does come with this laptop. And really this is a good step up from the MSI thin laptop if you wanna get even more performance and spend maybe $100 more. So this is a good option to definitely consider using the Walmart link down below. Next up, we have a really good in-between laptop, the HP Victus 15.6 with, with the Ryzen 5 8645HS and the RTX 4050. So once again, you're getting the RTX 4050, but instead of Intel, you are getting a very sweet Ryzen CPU. And of course, with it being Ryzen, you do get DDR5 RAM as well. But once again, it is single channel, so you do wanna do that upgrade, but don't worry, DDR5 is about as cheap as DDR4 when it comes to SODIM. And once again, the screen just is 144Hz, 1080p. That's a really good thing about laptops since the screens are so small, the pixels are more condensed, so you can get away with 1080p looking really good, and it's a lot less stress in your hardware, so once again, those AAA titles and those eSports will run really well. Next up is the Acer Nitro 5, and you'll start to see a trend here, guys. It features an RTX 4050 and also the i5-13450H. Now, this one is slightly slower than the second laptop we mentioned that is on sale right now with that i7, but once again, it does come with the RTX 4050, and the Acer Nitro line is known for being pretty solid build quality for the money, and this one is one of the laptops that ran way cooler than the rest in terms of gaming under load. It wasn't super loud. So the cool thing with this laptop is actually really quality, so for those who are really concerned about that, this would be a good option to go with. Normally, it's around $700 to $750, but just make sure, again, that it's under 1000 bucks to get the best bang for a buck, especially compared to all the laptops in this video, but really with the RTX 4050, once again, with a higher refresh rate display, no problem playing the latest titles at at least 70 to 80 plus FPS. Esports titles, lower settings, easily can saturate the 144 FPS, no problems whatsoever. Now next up is not a specific laptop, but is the Lenovo IdeaPad lineup. So something like an IdeaPad 3 or the 5 or just the gaming lineup in general, they're really solid for the price and Lenovo's tend to just hold their value really well. And we really recommend going for either the 3050 or 4050 models. Stay away from the older 2050 ones. You'll still see them on Amazon where it'll say like new 2024, but then it has a 2050. So it's clearly not new, it's just old stock. Uh, but the, considering you can get these laptops for like under $500, pretty common, there's no reason to go with the 2050 version because the 3050 and 4050 were a huge step up. And once again, with the higher fresh rate display, and on top of that, 1080p, you're gonna be able to play your AAAs, your esports, uh, get it, you know, roll over 60 FPS, especially with setting optimization. 
And to follow up with the whole Lenovo laptop recommendation, the LOQ line, and some of the other Lenovo laptops that you can buy on eBay right now are really good deals. We've seen models that are with 4070s for under $1,000 if you do some deal hunting. So in general, just looking up Lenovo laptops on eBay might be a good way to start, and you could find some refurbished or even new laptops that have even more performance than what we mentioned in today's video. But in this video, we wanted to focus on laptops that are readily available on retailers like Walmart, Amazon, or Newegg, which we'll leave links to all of them down below. They are affiliate links and they will help us out. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot about the gaming laptop market right now and that you can get a really awesome laptop under a thousand dollars to do pretty much anything you want let me know down below which one's your favorite and if you buy a gaming laptop we didn't mention in this video also let me know down below hey guys future matt here uh before we end this video i felt like i needed to jump in because we went over a bunch of awesome laptops that are on sale and really good prices but today is november 15th the day before the video uploads and there's a lot of new deals on gaming laptops that i definitely want to let you all in on on top of the ones that we already mentioned as general recommendations. The number one one that we did pick up and we will try to have a video on later this week is this HP Victus laptop for $499 featuring an RTX 4050 and i5 13420H. This laptop comes in at $500, $499 to be exact, and it comes with 16 gigs of DDR4 memory. This is the best laptop deal right now. We will have some more testing on it here soon, but definitely check the link down below for that one. Really awesome price performance compared to the other laptops we even mentioned at the beginning of this video. And we also got some more from Walmart. Walmart's kind of going crazy with gaming laptops right now. This is a Lenovo LOQ 15.6 inch 144 Hz display with the i5 12450HX, 12 gigs of DDR5 memory, and an RTX 3050 for $599. Love seeing the dual channel memory in these budget laptops. You've heard our complaints at the beginning of this video. There's a lot of laptops you have to upgrade the RAM with. These two that I just mentioned, you don't have to deal with. You can just buy and have an awesome experience out of the box. And lastly, Best Buy has a really good deal on an Asus Tough Gaming laptop featuring an RTX 4070 and an i7-13620H, along with 16 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, coming right in at $999. So if you're looking to spend a higher budget on your gaming laptop, Best Buy also has some deals for you. I just couldn't release this video without jumping in and telling you guys some of the awesome deals that are running right now. We'll try to do videos on as many of them that you want to see. So comment down below which one of these deals you want to see us test here on the channel. But as always, if you want to buy any of the laptops I suggest in this video, links in the description down below will be a filling and will help us out let's go back to that old outro and wrap this video up real quick and as always we hope you guys enjoyed today's little informational video if you did check out our other two youtube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros do not forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one bye bye so if you guys didn't know at PC Bros, we actually do carry gaming laptops. We're starting to get even more in stock too. So you guys should check out the website and, and also make sure to check periodically because we now have blog posts back so you guys get to see cool updates. PC Bros on Tech. You can buy a gaming laptop. If you're watching this video, you're probably looking for a gaming laptop or a desktop. We got you covered in the PC space. Use code Bros on checkout. You'll save 3% on your next purchase. See you guys later. Bye-bye.